All right, here we have an old Singer treadle style sewing machine. This particular machine is a Sphinx Model 27. You can see all the Egyptian style graphics on it. Made somewhere between 1900 and 1910, so I'd say it's in pretty good original shape. Was in my great grandfather's house. I'm not going to get too into the details on the machine or the restoration. It's about a thousand videos on YouTube of how to fix up an old sewing machine. What I want to focus on is my drive belt. Not a factory unit. That's 550 paracord. Atwood rope manufacturing paracord to be precise. And it works like a charm. The original belt was this old, I call it corduroy leather. That's how I've always heard it referred to. And you can see it's just dry rotted and cracked and basically junk. I tried to poke a new hole and stretch it, but it kept snapping. And I know that it's about a quarter inch in diameter, which is what paracord is. So at first the paracord wanted to slip on the drive wheel. So I snuck a little rubber band in there. Yeah, you can see a little doubled up rubber band in there that paracord's riding on. And it's really worked like a charm ever since. So I'm gonna get right to it. I'll just sew a quick test stitch. I have an old scrap piece of Carhartt's here. So it's pretty thick denim like material. Put my foot down here, get her started by hand, and then we're treadling away. No hands, old machine runs great. And the old paracord drive belt never skipped a beat. So yeah, Purposeful Paracord products on Facebook, Purposeful Paracord on Instagram, Treadle style sewing machine drive belt. Yep, we can make that.